At post, number 24, Zach DeBus. At guard, number 30, Alonzo Brooks. At guard, number 32, Kent Kessner. And at post, number 44, Cole Gregory. Hello and welcome to PH Sports Radio Network broadcast of the second game of this quad here at Patrick Henry High School where the, where the Rebels have hosted the Marion Scarlet Hurricanes. This is Dylan Hutton along with Travis DeBusk. And Travis, we're getting ready to start this game. This is the first time Marion and PH and the only time they're going to face off this year as Marion just now joined. What are some things you're expecting and some things you've seen from Patrick Henry that you think they need to take advantage of against Marion here today? Well, we noticed just through these warm-ups, Marion, they're long and they're mean. They look tough inside, but I tell you what, they can drain the basketball from the outside too. Marion wins the tip, and they got it in possession down on their own end. Yes, Riley Belevins for three, no good. It's going to be rebounded on the inside there after it got tipped up by Cole Gregory by Graydon Williams. Alonzo Brooks driving it down the floor here, contains himself, throws it back out to Kent Kessner. Kessner to the busk for three, no good. It's going to be rebounded by Belevins. Here comes Mann again back down the court. It's 0-0 here. It's got 7.30 to go here in the first period. It looks like Stifle there on the drive. He's going to be a loose ball on the floor. It's going to be picked up by Keith Norris. Norris back inside to Stifle. Stifle post move back to Crook, who's fouled underneath, and that's going to be two free throws coming there for Crook. A good attack inside for Marion on that play. There were three Patrick Henry defenders there. Not sure who they're calling that foul on. Yeah, it's going to be on number 10. So that's going to be on Graydon Williams. So that's his first here early in the game. First free throw is like it was no good. So That's really been Patrick Henry's hallmark all season. You know, they just really get themselves into foul trouble early on. Uh, we've just really been outshot at the line all year long. Crook makes his second free throw, so the Rebels are going to get it back here. They trail one to nothing with 7.19 to go here in the first period. That's the first foul there on Graydon Williams, so that's the only team foul early on in this matchup. It's like the bus has got it inside to nice the young pass. Gregory. Gregory inside, rattled out, rebounded again after a putt back there by Graydon Williams. It was no good. So it looks like Kent Kester here is on the drive. He's going to throw it back out to Williams. Zach DeBus, good pass. Well, got tipped by Crook inside. Loose ball. Rebels are going to retain here. Zach DeBus driving baseline. Pass inside to Gregory. Gregory, good post move. Turnaround, no good. Rebounded by Crook. So the Rebels are getting some pretty good looks. Just not coming away with these passes cleanly. Patrick Henry had the same problem last night playing against Council. They got a lot of good shots off. Just couldn't get anything to fall. It's like Norris on the drive here. He's going to throw it back out. It's going to be tipped up in the air by Patrick Henry. Stolen away. Rebels are really wanting to slow it down here. Kent Kester has got to get past half court, though. Here comes Kent Kester on the wide open lane. No, no good on the shot. It got blocked. It's going to go out of bounds off of number 10, Nick Stifle. The Rebels are going to retain possession here as Graydon Williams set to check it in down here on the baseline for Patrick Henry. Backside block all the way up underneath the basket. At least the big men are taking it in strong so far today. Yeah. Cole Gregory gets it down the inbounds. Graydon Williams throws it back out to Zach DeBus. Williams can knock down a three ball, too. I've seen him knock down a couple there. They're leaving him unguarded, though. Zach DeBus for three off the front of the rim. Rebounded by number three, Crook. Crook brings it down floor here for Marion. I'm going to throw it back out to number 12. Norris for three. Good. Four to nothing now with six minutes to go in the first period. So. That was a beautiful shot. He was draining them all during warm-up. Seems like he's still got it going on in the game. Another good pass inside yeah. for the Rebels, though. Kent Kessner, good pass inside to Gregory. Easy points right there. Rebels were able to break that press. Get two points there. Now it's 42. Marion leads here. 540 to go here in the first period. It's like Stifle's going to get it here inside to Crook. Crook for two, no good. Rebound by DeBus. DeBus driving it down court here. He's going to drive it over here to the corner, throw it back out to Kent Kessner. Kessner on the drive. Loose ball stolen away by Riley Blevins, who's weaving in and out. Alonzo Brooks versus Riley Blevins. Blevins' athletic move to the basket, no good, though, on the lay-in. Graydon Williams with the rebound. Rebels got numbers here, two on one. Kessner pulls up for a long jumper. Nice good. Shot. Marion really, really bailed Patrick Henry out on that last trip down the floor. Patrick Henry could not get back in transition. Marion had him beat all the way. Luckily, they missed the easy basket and were all yeah, tied up at four. They missed that easy lay-in, and then they 
Had the rebound there, but Graydon Williams knocked it loose. Stifle driving baseline here is going to throw it back out to Norris. Norris on the drive back to Blevins for three. Good. 7-4 now Marion leads. So the three ball is really going to be the thing that keeps – that's been driving Marion through this season. Good, Good passing pass there Marion there. To Cole Gregory there. Alonzo Brooks for three. Good. Rebels answer right back. The Rebels are looking hot here to start this game. 7-7 now. The Rebels are tied with the Hurricanes. Riley Blevins going to throw it back down here. Stifle for three. Can they answer? No good. Zach DeBusk went up for the rebound. Looks like it went off his hand. Goes out of bounds. Now checking in for Patrick Henry. It's Caleb Boyd for Alonzo Brooks. And it looks like Cole Gregory is going to check out. Who's that signing? Who's that for Patrick Henry, number 40? Powers. Powers, Powers. checks Anthony in for Patrick Powers, Henry. Excuse me, yeah. Another young player there for Patrick Henry. It's going to be a drive to the basket there by number five, Lehman. He's going to get fouled on his way up, so it's going to be free throws coming here for Brian Lehman. That foul on number 24, Zach DeBusk, is first of the game. It's going to be the second team foul on Patrick Henry. On that last trip down on the floor when Marion hit that three-pointer, they're doing an excellent job working the ball outside, in, and then back out again. They really set that play up well. Yeah, it was a good – they do a good job setting up those three-pointers. Blevins is always ready from beyond the arc. Looks like the bus is going to come back out now after getting that first foul on him. And Jeremy White, the young freshman for Patrick Henry, is on the floor. He's going to break it down right here as soon as he's in. It's going to be stolen away, though, by Stifle. Stifle on the drive. He's fouled and one. Actually, so they're going to call it on. Are they going to call it on the floor? They're going to I call believe it they're on going the to count the bucket. It's 9-7. to seven. Actually, they're going to count it. It looked like he was pointing. He's going to call it on the floor, but they're going to count it. Nine to seven. Now it's eleven seven. As Stifle has a chance here to three point play. Stifle's first or chance at the three point play. It back out to Crook, Caleb Boyd nice with steal. the steal. He's driving down the court. He's got a wide open lane, laying good. 12-9 to now. The, la the Rebels have cut it. And if you're just now tuning in, the Lady Rebels lost the opening game right here of our broadcast. Three close game. The Rebels never led that game, the Lady Rebels did. Another steal by Boyd. He's going to lose it, though. It's going to be stolen by Stifle. Stifle behind the back pass, laying good by Riley Blue. Another silly play as Caleb Boyd is trapped at the half court again. It's another turnover and an and one as Jeremy White commits the foul. Yeah, Caleb Boyd right there got he got the turn. Well, they were driving and tried to dribble it through a double team, lost it, drove it back down the court here, and Blevins put up a shot and was fouled by Jeremy White. So Blevins is going to go up to the line, and he made the shot, so it's going to be a chance at a three-point play. Now, Marion takes the lead 17 to 9 as the free throw is good. Yeah, they finish off the three point play. Blevins does. So now it's a whole new group on the floor here for Marion. Alonzo Brooks is getting trapped here. 
going to have to do something here. Zach the bus gets the ball. He's going to throw it back out to Kent Kessner. Kessner is a ball fake. He's, gonna, he's over in the corner. He's going to throw it to Alonzo Brooks. Brooks going to dribble it around here. Rebels just really need to settle down right now, not let the pace of the game get to them. Pass inside by Kessner is intercepted there by number 24, Terrence Miller, but he dropped down to a knee, and once he got back up, they called the travel. Good call right there by the ref. A lot of traffic in there. I'm surprised he saw that. Patrick Henry down by eight. They got a chance under their own basket now to pick up an easy bucket. Yep, 17-9 here. Kent Kester coming off a screen. Got the five. Zach DeBus didn't want to get a five-second count, so he threw it into the defender. Got the clock, re got the count reset there. Rebels going to get it inside to Cole Gregory. Gregory back out to Powers. Powers on the drive. He's going to put up a shot, and it's good. Good shot over the defender, number 42, Zach Alford, as Powers was able to put that one up. Good, strong move to the basket by the young young forward or young power forward right there. Powers is still right there by Powers on the loose ball. Here comes Kent Kester back down the court for the Rebels, weaving in and out. Powers has played well for the Rebels two nights in a row now. Tell you what, he's been a he's been a great find. They moved him up. He's really developed into a great player, and I think he's going to be even better going forward for Patrick. Cole Henry. Gregory's going to get fouled on his drive to the basket. It's going to be what we'll to wait till that pops up on the scoreboard to see who that was on. It was on the floor though, so Rebels going to get it down here on their own baseline. Zach DeBus set to check it in. He's going to get it to Brooks. It's going to go out of bounds off of. Looks like they're going to say it went out of bounds off Alonzo after number 30, Donovan Carana, was able to knock it loose. It bounced off of Alonzo. So it's going to be Marion Ball right here as they drive it down the floor. They lead by 6, 17 to 11. Another thing about tonight's, the Rebels don't have their starting shooting guard, Dylan Coase. They're losing that three-point threat and that senior leadership, but we'll see how they do here. It's going to be a loose ball on the floor, jump ball. It's going to go to Patrick Henry. On a team with only two seniors anyways, it's really tough when you lose one. But it's given these younger guys even more opportunity. That's a lot more playing time. Dylan, Dylan usually played, you know, a good 30 minutes a game anyway. So good chance for them other guys to get in. Yeah, it was a loose ball on the floor trying to get saved there. Hunter Leffler tried to save it and went out of bounds off of Leffler. So the Rebels are going to get it back here. And, yeah, that senior leadership really hurt the Rebels. Of course, they didn't really have that much. They only had two seniors. So that's a good thing about Coach Larimer here in his first year. Another loose ball goes off of Marion out of bounds. His first year here, he's actually got a good foundation set. The Rebels hadn't notched a win yet. But still, you can see they're progressing here. And that fast tempo they went to about midseason really paid off when they moved up those JV players. Cole Gregory on the drive. They're going to call a charge on Gregory. Be a charge taken by number 24, Terrence Miller. So that's a turnover there for the Rebels. Looks like to me Gregory got plenty up underneath the basket, but the call is going to go with the defense on that one. Yep. Gregory comes off now, and so does Kessner as Alonzo Brooks, Caleb Boyd, Anthony Powers, Graydon Williams, and Zach DeBus come out, are out on the floor for Patrick Karen. It's going to be a timeout called by Marion. So we'll see what the Rebels have to do here, what Coach Larimer is going to come out with. And if you're Marion, you've got to be happy with the start you've had from beyond the arc. They've been almost 100% on these wide open shots from the arc. Patrick Henry doing a good job hanging in there, only down 17-11. It's a six-point deficit with a minute 34 left to go in this first quarter. And you know those guys got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. Yeah, they've, they've hung in there, especially Patrick Henry's side. Of Pass right there. It's going to be a loose ball. It's going to be corralled though by Anthony Powers. Loose ball on the floor again. It's going to be a jump ball, and that's going to go to Patrick Henry. It's 19 to 11 here, the Rebels trail, with 57 seconds to go in the first period. And if you've listened to our broadcast before, based on our broadcasting site's rules, we'll have to start a new segment here at the end of this quarter. So make sure you just refresh your page at the end of the quarter. We've got 50 seconds to go here. Turnover. Rebels back in transition. Kent Kester on the drive. He's going to. Go for the fake there, pull back up, put it in. Two points there for Kent Kessner and the Rebels. It's 19-13 now as we get 
35 seconds to go here in the first period. So a good start here for Patrick Henry. It was a great it's be fast a three break. pointer by Leffler. No good. Rebounded by Zach DeBus. They're going to call over the back on number 22. We don't have a number on him. He must have just been added. He wasn't on their roster. Rebels are going to get it back, though, after the over the back call. Caleb Boyd on the drive is going to go for a pass to Anthony Powers, who wasn't paying attention. It's going to go out of back, or it's going to be a backcourt violation. So Marion gets it right back after the turnover of their own. Just another silly mistake by Patrick Henry. Nobody looking for the pass. Caleb threw it backwards. Bounces into the front court, back court violation on Patrick Henry. So now Marion has it again. Here's number 30. Karana has it. He's going to throw it back out to Leffler. Leffler's getting tra- Defense came there for the Rebels. And now Kent Kessner drives it back down here. We've got five seconds to go. Kessner passes it out to Powers. Graydon Williams to Kessner. Kessner puts up a shot from beyond mm. behind the basket, and it's no good. So we're going to go into the start of the second period with the Rebels trailing the Hurricanes 21-13. We're going to go ahead and start a new live segment. Just refresh your page. We'll be right back. 